straight up to the big story coming in from Chennai as the city now unites to fight the toxic oil spill that has put marine life and local fishermen at risk. Telling visuals, as you can see on your screens there, it's estimated over 20 tons of oil spilled after two ships collided. The accident that happened five days ago has now grown to colossal proportions. Coast guards, local fishermen and volunteers are now working together to clean the mess up. Nearly 30 kilometers of coastal land, including the famous Marina Beach that has been affected. And earlier today, our reporter Shweta, who was at Ennore Creek uh, near Chennai in Tamil Nadu, where all the action is, where the spill began. Here is the ground report. Oil spill took place when two ships collided together in the Ennur port. This incident occurred six days ago and since then there is no sign of development here. Relief operations have been going on and they are using buckets to clear the spill from the spot. There is an absence of specialized equipment here. Also, the fishermen's livelihood has been affected and they demand a compensation from the government. Also, the, the, uh, the oil spill has been spread 35 kilometers along the coastal line. Authorities have to take swift action and this is what the fishermen want. In Chennai, Shweta for Magic Bricks now. All right, that's the ground report uh, from uh, near Ennur Creek in uh, near Chennai. As Chennai fights the oil spill, we also spoke to a few heroes who have been hard at work scooping out the sludge and trying to clean up the beach. Uh, listening to what they had to say. Massive cleanup drive underway here at uh, the Chennai's uh, coastline after Sunday's oil spill. And this is the kind of situation that is prevailing on ground. Uh, people are manually cleaning the beach stretch, uh, which is uh, something which is very difficult uh, at the moment. And uh, uh, this is something which is uh, going on for uh, the past three days, ever since uh, uh, the collision between uh, both the ships happened at uh, the Ennur port. Uh, so we are far away from the Ennur port, but still we can see the kind of damage that uh, uh, the collision has caused and the oil spill has caused. Uh, and here are uh, some of the volunteers uh, from different uh, parts of Chennai who are involved in this process uh, though you can see how they are trying to clean up this entire uh, uh, stretch uh, manually and uh, they don't have any kind of safety gear which is something which is basic and which is important uh, but this is the kind of uh, situation that is prevailing here on ground uh, how long you have been involved in this process and how difficult it is no we have involved in this process from past two days and yes it is very difficult to do this because there is no safety precautions taken by the government of tamil nadu and government of india this should have been controlled by when the leakage has took place but still it has spread very long and uh, cleaning uh, cleaning up this process takes too much time i don't know it might it might take months together to clean up the complete process and for marine life and uh, for the livelihood of the fishermen it's very difficult for them i don't know how many days they will be living without food and all. But, but uh, initially the port authorities said that uh, uh, this is something, uh, you know, there is nothing to worry because there is no oil leak, oil spill or there is no oil leakage uh, because and after that uh, the next day they said that it is only one ton of oil that has leaked into the sea. This happened on Saturday, right? Okay, if there is no any problem then by now the government would have taken any <laughs> caution to clean all those things. Why not they taking? So we students I took initiative to do all those things. By this thing, this process will be continued till a month. It takes more than a month to clean full entire process. Till that the marine growth and any organisms in the sea they get damaged and the lives go lifespan of them it get reduces. Okay, right. So that is the kind of uh, reactions we are getting in uh, from uh, volunteers who are involved in this process because they have been here for the past three days uh, trying to uh, you know uh, clean up this entire process, uh, trying to clean up. Uh, uh, the beach and this is this is the kind of uh, uh, you know uh, uh, this is the kind of uh, damage that it has caused you can see coast guards and locals have scooped up over 54 tons of oil sludge uh, we have uh, my colleague uh, vijay from times now giving us a ground perspective of how the oil spill is affecting daily life in the city of chennai I'm right now almost five to six nautical miles away from uh, the coast where we earlier uh, 
uh, today and you know where we saw how uh, the people were working over there try to take away all the remaining oil from uh, the uh, shore area but this is the place exactly uh, where the ships were supposed to enter the two ships that collided uh, now if I ask Manish just to pan now that's the area where uh, we've been told that the ships collided earlier on uh, Sunday uh, 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 Saturday early morning uh, and uh, from there uh, because of the oil being very very thin uh, in in density it traveled very soon and of course the weather conditions were rough which is why the uh, oil uh, traveled in a very very uh, fast manner uh, and uh, uh, not just that but it went on to uh, places like Marina Beach and even uh, the further down to Elliot's Beach in Besan Nagar uh, but this, uh, if, if uh, it's, we are very, very close to the Kamraj port, in fact, and uh, over that side is the, the Kamraj port where you can see where both the ships are currently right now over there. Uh, and there is an investigation that is on. I mean, uh, of course, there is, uh, we've been talking a lot about the environmental issues. We're talking about a lot of, uh, you know, safety concerns as well. But the biggest question is what caused the collision? Uh, and uh, the, the uh, detailed report has been sent by uh, the Navy, by the port uh, trust over here in Ennur, the Kamraj port trust. And also people investigating it uh, because both ships were uh, 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 captained by Indians and uh, they were ruling out any sort of miscommunication or not understanding the language so uh, what caused the collision or were there any failures in the engine or there was no proper uh, uh, navigation uh, message that was sent to all those things uh, all those parameters are being investigated upon and uh, right over there are uh, the, the, the two ships that uh, are in question are right now inside the port we did speak to the Coast Guard earlier, there is a separate investigation happening over there as well. There are detailed reports being sent over there. But uh, uh, what over here you can see the waters right now is completely clear, clear uh, as far as the oil is concerned. There is no, uh, most of the spillage has been uh, al almost uh, mitigated over here. You know, about uh, 70 to 75 percent is what we've been told has been mitigated. The number that was given to us by the Coast Guard was about 54 tons in total of oil that was uh, uh, dispersed in. Uh, water and of course due to uh, from aerial surveys and uh, after uh, choppers and uh, they, they managed to uh, uh, use OSDs that is oil spiller uh, dispersants and most of the oil as you can see is completely gone on uh, this part of the uh, of the sea and uh, they uh, we spoke to the fishermen also they're saying this is most of the uh, uh, part where it is quite rough over here on uh, uh, most of the occasions it's not uh, very uh, 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 friendly for uh, 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 small boats and uh, small uh, 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 ships over here as well. They go further down into uh, the sea about uh, 30 to 40 nautical miles for deep sea fishing. But as of now, I can tell that you know uh, the ships uh, uh, are in uh, Kamraj Port Trust and there are people uh, investigating the matter and most of the oil over here has been dispersed. It's just about 20 tons that need to be uh, taken care of on the uh, shore and the other coastal areas of Ennur. As nearly 30 kilometers of coastal land continues to be covered in a wave of black and as citizens and coast guards fight the toxic uh, oil spill. Political parties, meanwhile, cutting across party lines, are attempting to score brownie points. Now, the opposition party in the state of Tamil Nadu, the DMK, has squarely blamed the ruling AIA DMK for the mismanagement of the mishap. Now, let's listen then to some political reactions coming in on it. Uh, connected with all departments, uh, merely uh, 15 uh, departments involved in this. And totally 1,500 employees daily they are working. You can you might be in, uh, seen in that area that uh, in our area Ramakrishnanagar. So what luckily you know the oil actually not flowed in the mid sea. So being in a density uh, actually more, it actually uh, uh, comes to the shore that to the bay. Um, uh, uh, the bay means actually uh, small small bay because of the groins so the created by the state government for the purpose of sea erosion. So uh, in that area the oil has been collected. So we actually uh, with the human power uh, totally actually uh, up to date no 60 tons of oil actually we uh, taken into custody and um, uh, fully uh, filled up with the barrel and uh, in the safe custody. So another 20 tons uh, maybe uh, in that area that will be removed shortly. We have created WhatsApp group statistic uh, collector is the uh, coordinator uh, Chennai and um, uh, through district. 
So all are coordinating them. There is no question of the non-cooperation. Sir, I'd like to bring to the notice of this house about an oil spill which has uh, happened near Tamarajar port in North Chennai on the 29th of January. On the 29th of January, after the spill, the port authorities had uh, uh, given a press uh, release saying that there is no damage to the environment like oil pollution and no casualty or injury to the persons. And uh, on the 31st, there is another press release by the uh, port authority saying that Chennai port has taken up measures for cleaning of oil spillage aftermath of two vessels um, which has col uh, collided near the Kamarajar port. This is three days back. So, I'd like to bring to the notice of this house that there is no, the, there is, uh, the different uh, organizations of the government are not coming together when a damage like this happens. And there are reports that indicate around 35 kilometers of the Chennai coastline has been polluted and marine life including turtles and fish have died and the ecosystem has been irreparably damaged. The livelihood of fishermen and their health ha and safety are of concern. There is a confusion whether the Coast Guard or the Kamaraja Port Authority should lead the cleaning operations. Initially, the Coast Guard used two submersible pipes to remove the oil. At some point, the workers of the port and locals were scooping out oil using buckets. There is a clear lack of coordination between the Coast Guard, Kamaraja Port Authorities and the Fishing Ministry. We have no awareness of what the government is doing, either the state or the central government, but it is a matter of huge concern for all of us as citizens because the oil spill has the ability to travel to vast areas if it's not contained immediately. There are international bodies which are qualified to come forth and deal with these issues. In fact, they should be, they should be under their radar by now. And um, it has tremendous impact on human and marine life. And it has far-reaching repercussions because the oil slick is not something that you can wish away overnight. It takes ma much effort and much cost. And so I think the government of India, you know, should come out and say something immediately instead of um, talking about a delusional and illusional budget. This is almost the sixth day that we are actually talking about and there's no estimate as yet in terms of how much oil has been spilled and it has uh, an impact on the marine biodiversity of the entire area. Right now we've actually seen the entire Chennai uh, coastline. That there is a lot of sludge that is there. There's a lot of oil that has actually reached. There are almost 500 species of fish that we have in that entire area and uh, that is going to get affected. So it has, in short term, it, it affects the marine biodiversity and in the long term, it also affects the entire food chain and livelihood of uh, thousands of people who actually live around Chennai. Now, uh, my colleague uh, Shweta caught up with uh, the collector of uh, Thiruvallu district near Chennai on the oil spill and the rescue operations that are underway. Listen to what he had to say. Monday onwards, we are replacing some 10 departments of state government along with Coast Guard. We are uh, removing oil uh, spillage. As of now, we have removed 45 metric ton and another 20 metric ton uh, we have to remove, uh, uh, we presume. Uh, we hope by this uh, evening we'll be able to complete. Nearly we have some thousand staff belonging to fishermen, uh, I mean, uh, fish, uh, fisheries department, uh, revenue and RD rural development and coast guard, fire and rescue and uh, uh, I mean highways. So uh, thousand is uh, more than enough for this uh, place. You can watch live TV on our website mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magic bricks now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at magic bricks now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash magic bricks now.